Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Randy here from Force Finds. We're going to do a haul video today. And this haul came from an estate sale that we went to in Port Royal, Virginia. Let's talk about these two little guys right here. Or girls, I'm not sure. Um, these two birds. So this is a gobel, little gobel bird figurine. So we paid about $6 for this, um, roughly, and they go for 10 to $12, you know, so we, we might double our money, hopefully. But it's cute anyways. I have a hard time passing up birds anyways. And if I see something with a bird, I'm kind of drawn to it. Then the next one is Gobel. This is the Gobel Robin. Um, this one actually, I guess maybe is a little more detailed, I guess, um, with the branch and the leaf and everything on it. Um, so we paid just under $6 for this. Um, we can expect to get between 12 and $15. All right. And this was my surprise find. Um, I just happened to come across this. So this is the book, The Federalist. Generally, you'll see it called The Federalist Papers. Um, the authors, Hamilton, Madison, and Jay. So I paid $6.50 for this, or we paid $6.50 for this. And we can expect to get sold comps on it, between 40 and $45. Um, so that's pretty good. That's fine. It's, it's still wrapped in plastic. So, I was pretty pleased with that one. And Kelly picked this one up. Doesn't have a maker on it. It's just really nice mid-century, uh, mid-century modern peacock, ceramic peacock. Has nice textured finish on it. And they make a pair of these. The other one stands up taller that will go along with it. But they only had this one. Um, I think we paid around $4 for it. And we can expect to get $15 to $20. Kind of reminds me of a Hager, Hager finish. Hager glaze, but it's not a Hager. We've, we've sold one of these before, um, Audubon Society Bird Clocks. I really like these things. Reminds me of my parents. My, my mom had one of these, um, but they're really, really pretty cool. I like them. Um, very 80s-ish. But we paid under $3 for this clock, and it had batteries in it when we bought it, so it was chirping on us on the way home, so we know it works. And normally, I think we sold our last one for around 25 So we kind of expect the same for this one, $20, $25. Oh, don't want to forget. Along with the Hummels, they threw this videotape in about collector's guide, yes, to Hummels. But... We've got it. If anybody wants one, we can list it. And I think we sold these before as well. Bluebird of Happiness. So these were made in Terra Studios, which is in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So the guy was originally, I think, from around Kansas, Kansas City maybe. Um, but then he kind of lived and died around... Fayetteville. He actually died in 2017, so fairly recently. And we've kind of seen the value of these go up. You know, not significantly, but just a little bit, maybe in the last couple of years. Um, but we paid about $2 for for him, and they normally will sell for around $20. Now, if you can find the different color ones, I know they there's a green one. When I was looking up comps for this one. Oh, and it is signed to, uh, I believe it says Lee... 
Leo Ward, I believe, 1993 on the bottom. So we have this fin basket. We have a carnival, I believe it's called a plum carnival glass. I like the ribbed handle and the pattern on it is Peacock and Dahlia. So it's really, really neat little pattern on the Fenton piece. Um, but this one we expect to get around $45. Um, I think we paid, I didn't write it down, but I think it, I believe it was around $8. Um, after our discount or after their discount for the day. And then next Fenton piece, Kelly has been dying to get one of these pieces. So this is a three piece. Um, she calls it a ballerina. Cherry lamp is also from Fenton, but it has the bottom piece which has kind of like ballerina skirt design, the hobnail, then it has the middle piece for the candle, and then the, the cover piece. Um, so this one is called a pink color, and we did pay up a little bit for this because it's gonna probably be added to our personal collection. Um, you know, so it is really nice though. We paid around $60 for this one. They usually will sell for about $80. But like I said, we'll, we'll list it probably a little bit high and just let it sit here in our display for a while. If it sells it, great. If not, we're adding it to our fairy lamp collection. And Kelly picked up some of these vintage colognes. Um, this one looks like it's probably used, so we'll probably end up selling it as like a vintage bottle. Um, but this one's called Tonga for Men from Amway. I don't know if anybody remembers Amway. Um, I remember Amway, I just don't really remember exactly what, what they were known for. I know they were kind of a um, almost kind of like an Avon thing, I believe. Um, but we could probably get for this vintage cologne bottle, probably around twenty dollars. This is about four ounces, maybe eighty percent still left in it. Um, then we have this Del Oro Continental Collection has like four half ounce little sample colognes in it. This one is new. All of the little samples are new. Um, but we paid or about $2.50 for this box of miniature colognes. Um, you should be able to get, I think, $20 for that one. I couldn't find any comps for this one. Um, but other colognes, I saw that brand, the Del Oro brand, Seem to be like a, a pretty valuable, valuable brand. And then this little sampler, this is like a, a half ounce obsession for men. I paid like 65 cents for this one. And I don't know exactly what the comps would be. I don't remember. I want to say probably around $12. Next, we have Eyes Saint Laurent. Laurent? Thai? <laughs> I always say it wrong. 100% um, silk. I think the Thai was, what, 50 cents? Maybe it was a dollar, I think. Something like that. Um, I didn't do a comp check on this one. You know, the vintage ties like this will usually go for 10 to 12 dollars. 
And finally, if I can reach it, um, we got two of these Bohemia glass uh, wide bottom decanters. I think Kelly called them ships, ships decanters. They're the wide bottom and they, they're steady. They send there with their Bohemia glass made in Czech Republic. Very mid century. Got these nice ball stoppers. So this one has like kind of a reddish orange color stopper. Um, and then this one has the blue. Kind of a cobalt stopper. So we got two of those. Uh, so for each of these, we paid about $9 a piece, I believe. And we can expect to get somewhere between $70 to $75 for, for these nice Bohemia glass decanters. I think that's everything. I think we're done. So, I don't have anything left on my notepad to talk about. Notepad's blank. I guess I'm done here. But before I sign off, I do want to send a shout out to our good buddy Uncle Bubba, who's also a local thrifter reseller um, here around the King George Fredericksburg area. We saw him yesterday at an estate sale and uh, he got there before we did, so <laughs> he has pretty good buys. He actually went again today, I think. Um, but if you haven't checked out his channel and his eBay store, go check it out. Um, he's got a lot of different kinds of stuff. We we have mostly glass and ceramics and breakables, and he has very eclectic array of different kinds of items. So go check Uncle Bubba out and. Uh, Tell him we said hey. All right. So I am going to sign off. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe learned something. Um, every time we go shopping, I try to learn something new, and you know that's what kind of makes it fun. I think. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Be notified whenever we post new videos what's sold and you know new items and stuff we put up in our ebay store oh yeah check us out on ebay as well force finds and that's it guys hope everybody has a good day today and i will see you next time see you